All right, cleaners, I'm super excited about this. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can connect House Call Pro and Go High Levels CRM together so that your data can pass back and forth. And you can do it both ways. So you can have data pass from House Call Pro to High Level, or you can have data pass from High Level back to House Call Pro. And you can keep your customers and all your information about them synced up in both of these systems. So if you're using both of these systems together, or if you're a client here, I book cleaning jobs using our CRM, which is powered by High Level, then you can use this in order to keep your customer data sync between the two systems. So first thing you're going to need, of course, is a House Call Pro account. And inside of your House Call Pro account, you're going to need to grab your Zapier API key. So you'll need to look for your Zapier API key inside of your account. If you don't have that, then you may need to upgrade your account in order to receive a Zapier API key. The next thing that you're going to need is a high level account or a go high level account. If you are using the book cleaning job CRM, then you've got one of these. Our CRM is based on high level. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do is hook up our CRM to house call pro. So you can have all of your stuff synced together. And by the way, I'll put a link in the description to all these softwares, but if you don't have them, you can go sign up right now and get started with it. The last thing you're going to need is a Zapier account. You're going to need to have a Zapier account because this is how you're going to connect these two systems together, house call pro and high level. Now, don't get freaked out. If you've not used Zapier before, it can sound really intimidating, but it's actually going to be incredibly simple. Zapier has gotten so smart that you can actually come in here and just type in exactly what you want to do. I want to connect house call pro and go high level, which by the way, it's called lead connector. High level is called lead connector inside of Zapier. That's what you're going to hook up is house call pro to lead connector. You can actually just type that in here and it will start to set up the zap for you. There is one last thing you're going to need, and it's going to be your API key from inside of high level. And so we'll grab that when the time comes, but let's go ahead and get started on this. I'll show you how to set up a zap so that you can pass data between high level and house call pro and vice versa. All right. So we're going to go ahead and create a new zap. And like I said, you can actually just type in here what you're trying to accomplish. Like I want my house call pro to connect to my lead connector and pass customer data back and forth and Zapier will take it from there. So let's give that a shot. All right, so I said, I want to connect my house call pro account to lead connector and cus pass customer data back and forth. It says you can automate this process by syncing new customer data from house call pro to lead connector. Here's how you can build your zap. So in house call pro, anytime there's a new completed job in lead connector, you will up add or update an opportunity. So let's go ahead and do that. You can click add all steps to zap, and then you're pretty much done with the copilot here. All right, next. What we're going to do is configure each one of these um, pieces of the zap. Okay, so let's configure House Call Pro first. Um, you're going to need to connect to your House Call Pro account. And in this case, I'm going to need to create a new connection because I already have somebody else's House Call Pro account connected inside of here. And this is the step where you're going to need your House Call Pro API key. So go ahead and grab that API key if you don't have it already. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this House Call Pro account. I'll name it. All right, now House Call Pro is connected. Anytime a job is completed in House Call Pro, um, it will pass that data somewhere, right? <clears throat> so you can test it out, see if it works. They found some records inside of House Call Pro. It looks like the test is, is gonna be successful here. So it's all good. All right, cool. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect, connect House Call Pro to Lead Connector, which again is high level. So let's go ahead and configure Lead Connector now so we can pass the data from House Call Pro over to Lead Connector. So again, we're gonna have to set up a new account. The way that you set up the account is by entering an API key. And let me show you where to find that API key. We're gonna go over to your high level account into your settings, and we're gonna look for the API key and then copy that information and bring it back over here, whoops, over here to Zapier, and then we'll connect our account. I'm gonna rename this so I remember who it is. Alrighty, and then we're gonna hit continue. Next thing we're gonna do is map the fields from House Call Pro over to Lead Connector. And this sounds complicated, but it's really not. All we're doing is telling Lead Connector that the first name belongs in the first name field and the last name belongs in the last name field. So you can pretty much just match these up. So we'll go through each one of these and do first name, customer first name, last name, last name, a full name we'll leave out because House Call Pro does not have that field. Let's do a phone number, email address, address, city, state, zip code. And then you can pull in tags from House Call Pro over to high level. And then you can choose to mark these as a lead, yes or no. We'll just mark yes. And then you tell it which pipeline in your 
high level account you want this lead to go into. And since this is somebody who's a customer and their appointment's been completed inside of House Call Pro, what I'm going to do is put them inside of our lead pipeline, but I'm not going to put them in the new lead stage. I'm actually going to move them over here to appointment completed. So then every time somebody completes an appointment inside of House Call Pro, that customer's data is going to get passed back to Lead Connector and it's going to tell Lead Connector or go high level to add this customer to your contacts and then to create an opportunity for them and put it into your pipeline but in the appointment completed stage, right? Because you've already served this customer. It's not a new lead. It's an existing customer that you just completed a job for. So this will help you keep your data really nice and synced up between these two systems. You could assign it to a user. You could do all kinds of different things if you want to here, but I think we're pretty much done setting this up. Double check everything that you've mapped over. And it looks like everything is good here. You can go and look inside of your high level account in the uh, pipeline to see if a customer's Data has been ported over there. And if there's a new opportunity in your pipeline in the job completed or appointment completed pipeline, if that's how you have it set up, then as long as that's all working, you're good to go. You can publish this zap. So let's go ahead and publish it. And you could rename it if you want to. I'll probably rename it later. But that's how you connect House Call Pro to Lead Connector. You can also do it the other way around. So you could start with Lead Connector and then you could pass the data to House Call Pro. And it works almost the exact same way, except that you're going to map the data from Lead Connector into House Call Pro. So you would set up Lead Connector here first, and then select your account, then set up House Call Pro here, select your account, and map the fields from Lead Connector over to your House Call Pro account. And then you can pass data from Lead Connector to House Call Pro. All right, guys, this is funny. I actually set it up backwards for this client. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up the other way with Lead Connector or high level and then sending the data to House Call Pro. So let's go ahead and edit this zap and we will set it up the other way around. Okay, so we're gonna change the trigger app to be lead connector, which again is high level if you've been following along. And what we're gonna do is trigger a pipeline stage change to the high level account that you are currently using. And if you don't have it connected, then you'll go have to go ahead and connect it using your API key from your high level sub account. Let's go ahead and continue. So we'll select the lead pipeline and then we'll go to new leads. Every time we get a new lead, we're going to port that data over to House Call Pro and create a new customer or contact inside of House Call Pro. Okay, so let's continue. Next, we're gonna set up House Call Pro. You'll connect your account in just a second, but what we're gonna do is create a new customer anytime you get a new lead inside of Lead Connector. Next, you'll connect your account Again, you're gonna need your House Call Pro API key. So go grab that from, or your House Call Pro Zapier API key. So go grab that from your House Call Pro account. I've already got mine set up here. Then you're gonna map the fields. So again, you're just mapping these the other way around. This time we're gonna take the information from Lead Connector. So last name, or sorry, first name, last name. We're gonna map all this stuff over from Lead Connector into House Call Pro. You can map over whatever data you have inside of Lead Connector. We actually are just collecting name, email. And so we'll pass that over to House Call Pro. Then you can test it. First name, last name, just make sure everything looks good here. And I think we are good to go. So we'll go ahead and publish that. We'll call this version 2.0. And there you go. Now, every time a new lead gets dropped into your pipeline in high level, it will create a new customer inside of your House Call Pro account. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful, hit like. Again, I'll put a link to all of these softwares in the description so you can go sign up if you're not using them yet. I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you again soon.